We have exclusive breaking news for you right now, an update on Willy Wonka. Find out who's on the short list right now. All right, Jeff, you've got uh, the inside scoop on this one, and I'm dying to hear more about it. So give us the details. This is a sweet little scoop that came from a very special source. You know who you are. But yes, there's. Uh, I'm told that Warner Brothers is in the early stages of putting together a short list for its Willy Wonka prequel. And the three names that I've heard are Ryan Gosling, Donald Glover, and Ezra Miller. Crazy, oh right? Um, so, so to recap, Paul King, the director of Paddington, yep. is directing this. It comes from David Heyman, who does the Fantastic Beast movies, all the Harry Potter stuff. Uh, and Simon Rich is writing the script. He used to write for mm-hmm. SNL. Um, what, do you, like, what do you think of these three names? I want to hear what you think before I weigh in. So when you start out by saying Ryan Gosling, that does make sense to me because why wouldn't he be on a short list? And especially for something like this and after the nice guys, like I've seen him go dark before. I know he's got the comedic sensibilities, but then when you top that off with Ezra Miller and then onto Donald Glover, these are three completely different totally performers. Totally different, but that I like I, that. Yeah, I, I kind of like it too. It's just, I'm curious what kind of script at this point they're working with, because no matter who, let's say it does come down to one of these three, no matter who you pick, it seems like it's going to change the, the style, the tone. Each I don't one know. offers a very distinct movie, I think, but I like that, that Warner Brothers is sort of giving themselves some variety mm-hmm. here. So Ryan Gosling, obviously, he's at the top of almost every shortlist that Warner Brothers has. They love this guy. Blade Runner, The Nice Guys, Gangster Squad, Crazy Stupid Love, even The Notebook was a New Line movie. And don't forget that Warner Brothers also picked up Ryan Gosling's, frankly, terrible directorial debut, Lost River. Like, that's how desperate they are to be in business with this guy. Now, personally, I think he could stand to do a kid's movie. Mm -hmm. All of his movies are super serious. They're all adult-focused. Like, the closest thing he's done to a family movie is Remember the Titans. So I actually think at this point, especially with Blade Runner not doing so hot, Mm -hmm. he could really use a four-quadrant tentpole. He was going to do the Haunted Mansion at Disney, yeah, yeah. but that, that one didn't work out. Um, Donald Glover, man, he would be interesting, I he think. He would be. Like, I, I'm torn, I think, between, if I had my pick, between Ezra Miller and Donald Glover. I do love Ryan Gosling, and I'm sure he would do a great job in the role, but I think it's because, and yeah, you make a good point with the Four Quadrant stuff, but I think because I've watched him in the industry for so many years now, Two slightly fresher names have me a little more excited. Right, it depends how young they want to go. Gosling's obviously a little bit older than these guys. Mm -hmm. Um, For for what it's worth, I'm told that Donald Glover is actively chasing this role. Like, this is something he really thinks that he could put his imprimatur on. That right there might tip the scale for me. Like, who who knows how interested Ezra Miller is compared to Donald Glover, but if he's actively chasing it, that excites me. Oddly enough, Ezra Miller is the busiest. Uh, he also has has the, he he actually has the most value to Warner Brothers right now because he is in the Fantastic mm-hmm. Beast movie, so he's already working with the producer David Heyman, and he's the Flash in the DC universe. So like Warner Brothers' future, they're very invested in Ezra Miller. So maybe this is you know how you help build him up further. He also has a a, a young Salvador Dali movie with Ben Kingsley on the way. As far as Donald and Ryan Gosling go, they don't have anything on their plate. Ryan Gosling has First Man. You're going to see a trailer for that on Collider very soon. I think later this week, but the, he. He doesn't have anything else after that and donald glover all he's doing is voice yes he has a tv show mm-hmm. an incredible music career but he's just voicing simba in the lion king he doesn't have any other movies lined up to go so they're all available as far as i know maybe ezra's busy you know with the with the flash movie depending on when that starts but i, I all these three I, I don't think they can really go wrong no i'm definitely all in for it as well i'm just eager to hear more about the story because obviously i'm very accustomed to the original uh willy wonka charlie and the chocolate factory just that specific point in that character's life. And all I've heard about this one is we're we're going into prequel territory. And when the yes. first thought that comes to mind is, oh, how did he meet the Oompa Loompas? I'm like, that's a weird visual. I don't know how you do that. Right, exactly. How did he discover them? How, where did this giant house made of candy essentially come from? Um, how, how did Wonka get his starts? And, and, you know, I'm the son of a candy man, so I'm particularly inter- interested in this. I don't know how you top that's this so- great gentleman right here, Gene Wilder, but, uh, you know, 
you know, Johnny, Johnny Depp, those, those shoes can be filled. I think so. I feel like. I, I think I, so. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. But for now, these are the three names that we're hearing. Ryan Gosling, Donald Glover, Ezra Miller for Willy Wonka. Good luck to Warner Brothers. You really... Uh, you got your work cut out for you there. Now we toss it to you guys. Hit that comment section below. Share your thoughts on the shortlist right there. As always, like and share this video. We'll see you soon.